Hey everyone, welcome to another page in the Desert Plant Diary. I'm Carl, and I'm back. And I must tell you guys, I had a bit of a, of a COVID scare, and was slightly depressed about that. However, thanks to two very special people, Natty, Darren, and Alok as well, you guys have definitely brought me back with your wonderful comments and your emails as well. Thank you so much, guys. Um, guys, if you are not familiar with Natty or Darren's channel, please do go check it out. So, Natty's channel is Natty's Succulent Life, and she makes some absolutely spectacular succulent arrangements. So, do go check that out, and she's got some gorgeous succulents too, and spilling over into cacti. Of course, you can't like succulents and not like cacti, and vice versa. It's quite rare. And, of course, you've also got Darren, um, my dearest brother, his channel name is Cacti Mania. I'm trying not to get emotional. And do go check out his channel as well. He's got some gorgeous cacti and succulents too. And in a recent video that he uploaded, an Apuntia, I'm guessing it's Microdaces, which is, is in bloom in one of his videos, which is quite rare, guys, because in cultivation, you don't get that happen quite often. So, massive thumbs up, uh, Darren. And Natty, I did see your uh, video on some of the collections um, that you've added as well. Some gorgeous blooms, massive thumbs up there too. Thank you guys again. You will always be a brother and sister to me, the two of you. Um, so, guys, getting to this, I hope all of you guys are safe during this time. And um, God walk you through this uh, I don't even know what to say, guys. It's an out-of-the-body experience, this entire thing. Out-of-the-body. So, guys, getting to these gorgeous blooms. So, this is obviously, as I stated earlier, a uh, Stapilia gigantia. Quite massive bloom on this. So, this is the first year it's been in bloom. I did move it to um, an area of shade, to an area of sunlight. You can see there's some amount of sunburn on this. But this guy obviously does need sunlight, guys, so the buds did form this here, and it has rewarded me with quite a few blooms. And you've got one over here, and there's another one over here. I'm trying not to touch the bloom, because I do know <laughs> there are eggs on this, and there could be flies larvae that keep moving around, so... The reason for this to have that furry look, and it does look like... It, it attempts to imitate rotting meat and the smell on this is like a dead rodent or a rat not quite strong compared to the Letizia though um, is to attract flies to lay their eggs on this and you can see a few eggs over there I'm sure it's going to hatch sometime and I don't want that crawling on my hand but the bloom guys of the many Letizia of the many Stapilias, Huernias and I forgot what I'm living out the other one it's called the, the blooms on this are absolutely spectacular. The Dromerii is also one of my favourites, and so is another one. I forgot its name. I think it's a Carinata or something. I don't know, guys. So uh, th these have got to be some of the best blooms I've seen. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and by seeing this, you get inspired to start or continue a collection of your own. And in order for you to do that, I send you a lot of strength and inspiration to step out in your garden today, my fellow plant soldiers. Get your plant mojo on and do something fan blooming tastic. Until the next video, be safe, cheers, and God bless you all.